thoughts on seeing the stadium, this dimensions, and kind of get used to playing here? Yeah, well, it's actually not my first time. When I worked for ESP and I came down, and I actually didn't work the game, but I was actually here for the last Miami Beach Bowl game, which was a couple of years ago, and I think Western Kentucky played somebody. And, uh, and I was super impressed at that time because uh, they had a good crowd attendance. Uh, I thought the layout for the stadium and the field was really, really good. And, and today, obviously, the field's not completely uh, painted and everything, but I think it's excellent. I think it's a really a good opportunity to play here. Were you guys able to have a good practice today? It being just a little different having to get in the bus and travel for this? Yeah, well, we've done it a couple of times where the Dolphins have been kind enough to us to let us use their bubble when we've had lightning and rain. And, and uh, so kids have had to get, this was a little bit shorter bus ride coming here, obviously, than going all the way up to the Dolphin facility. But uh, it was good. I think it was good for the players to get a chance to get some familiarity with the locker room, the field, which is going to be our sideline. So they're not completely, uh, you know, surprised or they're not, you know, they don't know exactly what's going on on the day of the game. So it was a good day to come here. I thought the practice was good. The energy level was good. So I was really happy that we came. Obviously, you know what stadium used to stand on these grounds uh, in the summer where you once coached that. Yeah. What, what kind of feelings did you run this at all? You know, kind of like, <laughs> like you know, coming up here, you know, driving over? Or? Well, for 11 years, obviously, I played on that field or coached on that field. And, uh, you know, uh, the stadium doesn't look like it. I think there's probably more restroom facilities here on one side of this stadium than there ever was at the Orange Bowl. And, uh, uh, but it was, you know, obviously those 11 years were remarkable. I, I was blessed to be a part of the program and, and that played here. And, uh, you know, but the facility clearly doesn't look the same and everything. But, you know, you never know. There might be some vibrations still left. But how motivated is you for your players to get possibly get to another ball game? Yeah. He's one more win to get there. Sure. No, absolutely. I mean, I think that that's the goal. You know, one of the goals that every team sets back in August is, is that they want to win enough games to, to play longer, to play in a bowl game, uh, to hopefully you know, keep our string alive. We've got two in a row. We'd like to get a third. You guys played uh, Miami last year, obviously. Uh, mm -hmm. You able to score some points in the fourth quarter. Anything to take away from that yeah. game, which is a totally different person? They're, they're completely different. You know, yeah. the change in the coaching staff has changed significantly. Uh, you know, scheme-wise, offensively, and a little bit of similarity defensively from the standpoint. But, uh, you know, I don't know if there's a lot that you take from that other than watch players that are returning and, and see what they did in that game and how they tried to use them and how they used them the same way this year. It's the motivation level you sense from the players that know a lot of the guys on the other yeah. side, especially the No, I mean, I just think that our kids, I mean, what we've tried to do since 2017 is make it all about that this week. You know, whatever game it is, whatever the opponent is, best preparation that you can come up with uh, and play. Now, the added, you know, addition to that is, is that a lot of these kids know some of those players. They, they played on the same high school team or they played against them. So I'm sure that that probably adds just a little bit to the, you know, to the preparation. And your former Canes players calling you the, the last couple of weeks getting ready <laughs> One for free tickets. Yeah, yeah, all one free tickets and stuff, you know. But I told them they had to wear blue and gold. Most of them said they would. Really? <laughs> Anything else, guys? All right, thank, thank you all for being here today.